Yes, love you, Jesus loves you. I am righteous, are you? Am I righteous, are you righteous? A lot of people say, you know, covered by the blood, I'm holy, I'm righteous, you know, I'm wearing the righteous robes of Jesus, you know, when God looks at me, he sees Jesus, you know, I'm righteous before God. The way you know, 1 John says you'll know who the children of God are because they live a righteous life. You'll know who the children of the devil are because they live a sinful life. So the way you know you're righteous is if you have cameras watching you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, cameras watching you, and then you displayed that across the universe. You know, the last week, 24-7, cameras were watching everything you did and said and thought, like cameras inside your head and heart, and cameras on what you do and say, 24-7 then displayed across the universe and ask yourself again, am I a child of God because I'm living a righteous life according to 1 John? Like, are you righteous? Like, God isn't blind. He's not like, I can't see, like, my name is Joseph. He's not like, I can't see Joseph. All I see is Jesus. Like, what is he really like? Like, <laughs> the miracle is to get heaven inside of you, get Jesus inside of you. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Jesus. So when you get holiness inside of you, the only thing you can do with the Holy Spirit of the living God living in you is to live a holy life. So you're not going to be perfect. It says nobody can bridle the tongue. So like you may, you know, you may have an outburst of anger, but if you're characterized by outbursts of anger, if you're characterized by lying, stealing, getting drunk, sexual immorality, you're a child of the devil, according to 1 John. So people who try to say, you know, that they're perfect, they don't understand or whatever. But if you're not righteous, the Bible says without holiness, no one will see God. It doesn't say without some imaginary coat covering you. Nowhere in the Bible, nowhere in the Bible does it say, like, the righteous robes of Christ cover you and he doesn't see your actions. It says God sees everything, even your motives and your heart. And you will give an account for everything. So if you're not living a holy, righteous life, you're not going to be made perfect in heaven. It says the people in heaven are the spirits of the righteous that are made perfect. So only righteous people go to heaven, and you're not righteous because Jesus died on the cross. You're righteous because Jesus lives in you, and you live a righteous life. So if you're not living the right way, if you're living in sexual immorality, if you're living in lies and deceit and anger and drunkenness and orgies and sorcery, like, give your life to Jesus, then his blood cleanses you of your sin, allows you to go to heaven if you give your life to Jesus. Then Jesus' blood cleanses you from your sin, and but you have to give your life to Jesus so that you can get his spirit, the Holy Spirit, so that you can live a holy life. Like the only way to live a real holy life is to give your life to Jesus and let him run your life. Because if Jesus is running your life, you're going to be characterized by love and holiness. Love you, loves you. Later, Jesus.